Okay, for problem two, the objective is to solve the following word problem. So Ralph's car can travel 900 miles on 32 gallons of gas. How many miles per gallon does his car get? How far can this car travel on 72 gallons of gas? Assume a constant miles per gallon. So this is a two-parter here. We need to answer the first question before we can get to the second question. So what's important? Well, we're told that Ralph's car can travel 900 miles on 32 gallons of gas. And then the question is just basically how many miles per gallon does this car get? So this is a very basic division problem. Okay, if you take a road trip and you go 600 miles on 30 gallons of gas, you know that you got 20 miles to the gallon, right? You just simply divide 600, the number of miles that you went, by 30, the number of gallons of gas that you used, and you get 20 miles to the gallon. So if we really set this up, you can just think about this as kind of a fraction here. 900 miles, we're gonna learn about this later on in algebra, it's called a unit rate. Okay, so 900 miles over 32 gallons of gas. And so to get a unit rate, what you do is you divide the number in the numerator by the number in the denominator. And that's going to give you a single unit in the denominator. So what this is going to end up giving you is you'll have one gallon of gas in the denominator here, and then you'll have the appropriate number of miles that you get for one gallon of gas in the numerator. So we're going to go ahead and divide 900 by 32. Thirty-two goes into ninety twice. Two times thirty-two is sixty-four. I'm gonna bring down the zero here. Thirty-two will go into two hundred sixty-eight times. Eight times thirty-two would be two hundred fifty-six. Okay. Let's subtract here. We're gonna get four. Now, this is one thing that we want to practice that we learned in our lesson on dividing decimals. Remember, you don't have to stop here. You have a remainder of four, but what you want to do is put a decimal point there, bring that up into the answer, and then just write a zero after your decimal. Okay, 900 and 900.0 are the same. Okay, we're just changing the way that the number looks. We're not changing the value of it. So we bring down this zero here. We can continue our division. 32 goes into 40 once. 1 times 32 is 32. Subtract will get 8. Put another zero at the end. Bring that down. 32 will go into 80 twice. 2 times 32 is 64. Subtracting, you will get 16. Put another 0, bring that down. And then 32 is going to go into 165 times. 5 times 32 is exactly 160. So we have no remainder and we have 28.125. So we can put that up here as 28.125 miles. So the way this is now a unit rate, you have 28.125 miles per one gallon of gasoline. And again, when you get into algebra and you start dealing with unit rates, this will become a common practice for you. But for right now, just to answer the question, we'll just say that where it says how many miles, how many miles per gallon does his car get? We'll say his car gets 28 0.125 miles per gallon. Okay, now we want to move into answering the second question, which is how far, okay, how far can this car travel on 72 gallons of gas? Okay, it says assume a constant miles per gallon here. So basically all you need to do now, since you know how many miles per gallon this car gets, 28.125, and the question is, well, how far can it go on 72 gallons of gas? We just need to multiply, right? If your car gets 10 miles to the gallon and you have four gallons of gas, well, you know you can go 40 miles, right? 10 times four. So no different here. We're just going to do 28.125 times 72. So to do this, I'm going to ignore the decimal here. I'm just going to erase it for right this second. And then we'll deal with the decimal after we're done with our multiplication. All right, we'll just work with the whole numbers right now. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 2 times 1 is 2. 
2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, let's go ahead and erase. And now we'll move on to here. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 3 is 17. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 1 is 8. 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 5 is 19. Go ahead and add 0, 5 plus 5 is 10. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 7 is 10. 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 8 is 15. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 6 is 12. 1 plus 9 is 10, then 1 plus 1 is 2. So we end up with this large number here. And right now, before we do anything with the decimal, it ends up being 2,025,000. Okay? But we know that in this problem, 28.125 times 72, there are one, two, three decimal places between the factors. So that means in this number, the decimal point's gonna go three places to the left. So basically it would go right here, and that means that I can just delete these zeros here because they don't add any value to the number. So you know with 2,025, by 2025. So let me just erase this to get a little room. And we can answer the second question and just say that his car can travel 2,025 miles on 72 gallons of gas. Check your division on 900 divided by 32. Is it 28.125? So then yes, his car gets 28.125 miles per gallon. And then check your multiplication. 28.125 times 72, does that give you 2,025? Yes, it does. So we have the correct answer here. And so we move on to the next problem.